Alrighty. Um, let's keep the party going. So it's been a bit. I've just explored the planet. We've got up to 48 salvaged data. I've had 20,000 total, I think. Runaway mold. Uh, we're taking that runaway mold. Oops. Why don't we stack these, Aaron? We're taking that runaway mold. We're making nanite clusters. Gone through a few of these. Uh, we now have 4,355. This is, this is not common. If you're just learning and you're just playing for the first time, this right here is not common in three hours. It usually takes me a lot longer. I've just stumbled into a process. It also helps to know kind of what you're doing. Um, so, so there's that. Also in, you know, I'm going around collecting the salvage data and the little nanite pods. I also ran across this um, for free. Gives me plus 15 percent to my shield strength i also unlocked this because i found the resources so what the teleport receiver does is see how i'm close to my ship if i go away from my ship and go into my menu i can still access it because it has a radar with a range that i can go a little bit of ways and still access it i saw you I saw you down here. I don't, don't think you es escaped. Um, and that can just be handy having that. So you're not, you don't have to be right next to your ship in order to use it for storage. Or access it. It's so fun. See, it's clear up there and I can still... No, nope, I'm just out of its range. How about now? Still out of its range. We can extend that if we want to. I think there's mods that increase the... But anyway, you don't have to be directly next to it in order to do things. Uh, that goes back in the suit. Yeah, got a bunch of them there. Um, so what I thought I would do is, <clears throat> now that we have some nanites, and some money, and some salvaged data, I thought what we could do, let's go... So, we're, we're, we're running out of space. We're constantly having to manage our inventory because we don't have enough slots. Um, so I wanted, I want to start down a path of getting more. Let's just top this off before we take off. So I want to get more backpack slots. So the way you do that is you go to any star system or station, space station. So we're going to teleport up to the one that's in this current system for funsies. It can be anywhere that you want. And so we want to go to the bottom right, to the map guy. That's this icon right here. And so what you do with this cartographer is you can ask for specific maps. I want specific charts. And there's a bunch. We can look for secrets. We can look for emergencies. Uh, we can look for emergencies is how you find additional ships that have crashed that you can fix up and either add to your collection or <clears throat> scrap them, which is most of the case. You're not going to find a lot of S class and A class ships this way. So it's just a good way to earn a little bit of extra cash. Uh, commercial cartography. We can look for some of those. We can look for aliens. We can look for dig sites. This is what you want. Encrypted exosuit upgrade chart. You can also look for settlements and we'll get into that later. But right now I want a couple of these. I can only afford three. Let's grab two of these 
and an emergency. It looks like we can buy a few emergencies. Okay. So we bought a couple of things. <clears throat> These are bought with notice anything missing. You probably don't. It's the navigation data. So that's why I say always, always have nav. Oh, perfect. We got a traveler here. Always have navigation data with you. Uh, sometimes you'll be able to buy them from the stores. Uh, buy navigation data. That's fine if you can grab some. Um, the other is to look around for cubes. Sometimes here's one. These orange cubes will have a navigation data. There should be a couple throughout this. There's some cash. There should be a couple. Now here's another one, blue one. So we just got two nav datas. So we could take those right back to this guy and buy another map of something specific. We can't afford this, but we could get another chart. Let's get an emergency chart. <clears throat> Here is, as I talked about in previous video, shimmering. See how he's shimmering? You want to find these travelers. You want to talk to them. It doesn't matter what they say. Um, let's embrace the life form just for funsies. Who cares? Maybe we'll get a bonus out of it. Talk to him again. It's the second time you want to pay a hundred nanites to find out where they came from. He's not going to remember, but he's going to tell you where his burial site is. And that is important. Have we been to this space station yet? I don't think we have. Uh, see, here we go. We could kill 12 creatures and get a free exosuit upgrade if we wanted to. I'm really not in the mood to deal with anything extra right now. But that's that's an option. I don't think we've looked at anything in here. Did we buy? We did. No, nope, we haven't. You can always buy a suit here. See, now it's going to cost. Now, it's 5,000 units down here in our cargo. I could easily add this up here for 1,000. So I can either buy technology card slots or cargo slots. We desperately need cargo space. So I'm going to buy that. And we have a bunch of... Let's see what we can buy now. Purchase our upgrade modules. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this life support. A radiation. And a thermal. I know that's a lot. But this is going to help us quite a bit. Oops. Wait, I'm hitting the wrong button. E, install. <laughs> This is going to help us last a little bit longer on planets that have severe radiation and are extremely cold. Let's put this over here by this so that it gets the bonuses. I don't know what it is exactly. Let's take a look at that. You can tell that they're sharing bonuses because they're next to each other and they now have a highlighted ring around them. So this is the solar power is 36% and life supports 89. So if I take this and move it away so they're no longer sharing bonuses it's the exact same eh, fine let's take a look at our multi-tool it's pretty loaded up let's see what he's got to sell or she i don't know uh bolt caster module geology cannon it's nothing i want here let's take a look at that gun all right, we already have a pistol. Let's look at rifles. And rifles going to get us damage. Oops. It's going to get us damage dealing. I don't really know if I want. I think we're going to come across. Ooh, B class. Let's compare it. I don't have the cash for it anyway. I have 2.7 million. 
it's going to cost me, even if I exchange it, it's going to cost 3.2 million. So I can't, I can't afford it anyway. Can we buy, I don't think we can. Oh, I was looking to see if we could buy a scanner module for that, but we can't yet. Um, since we haven't been here. Let's go talk to this guy. See if we can donate anything. Ugh. I hate doing it, but we can always find more. Now we can get some free launch fuel. Look at that. We're initiate. We're in the first rank. So now anytime I come here, I can just pick up three launch fuels. Nice. Uh, is this the same guy I talked to? Let's say it is. It is. I don't see him down here again. Okay, so we did some things. We did some things. Um, we purchased some. Got a lot happening here. Let's put this into our starship. Uh, we purchased a couple of charts. Let's put these down here. Get them out of the way. We purchased a couple of charts. Uh, I, I swear organization is going to be the end of me. <laughs> okay, we have exosuit upgrade charts. And we got planetary charts for emergencies. Let's do the whole purpose of this video was to show you how to start expanding your slots. Um, far more cheaper, if that makes sense than buying them so all you do is you look around as you're at these space stations find some navigation charts and you're going to pick them up just for free all over the place you buy an exosuit upgrade chart we're going to plot route it's going to say hey pod detected we found one for you and then we got to go to it now this does take time I probably spent 20 hours total maxing out my suit cargo slots in my other build. Then we can take this call if we want to. Incoming transmission. I think I'm on the main storyline, which is why this is popping up. Let's identify ourselves. Uh, tell him we don't understand. Just like the others, who are you talking? Ask who you are speaking to. Ask. Let's talk about that. No reply. Communicator went silent. Okay, back to. Oh, I got a new mission. Let's go to this drop pod. Now, like I said. You're going to want to do this until all of your, and this is not, this is like a side quest. This is not a main goal because it takes time. But if you only have an hour or two to play uh, at a time, it would be beneficial to be like, okay, this play session, I'm just going to go and get as many drop pods as I can. So we go to it, just going to land and you'll see these. You can run into these too, just out and about in the wild. You don't need to specifically get these, but your chances of finding them otherwise are very slim. So we're going to go to the pod. Got to find the door. <laughs> and when, one thing that's nice is there's a shield here, so you're protected from the environment. So if you find these on a crazy planet that's trying to kill you, you can get in here. There's a couple things we need to do. We need to give it nanocarbon. We need to give it sodium nitrate and an antimatter housing, which we don't have yet. So what I typically do is have a whole stack of uh, tubes and I got to make antimatter housings. So I'll make a bunch of those. Let's just go with 10. Um, I always try to have those two and the sodium... Is it sodium or sodium nitrate? I think it was nitrate. 
I always have a stack of those. Yeah, sodium nitrate. It only takes 10. One carbon nanotube and one antimatter housing. So you have to have all three, but it's free. You can find all these things from resources. Now we can tell it where we want to add this. Up there, down here, wherever we want. And we just expanded for free <clears throat> our suit. And you usually get some bonuses while you're here. There's usually a save spot and some luggage we can look through. Lots of the hydrogen jelly, got all kinds of stuff. We're gonna save it. Cool. Uh, I usually get back in my ship and we can do it again. We got one more. So let's scan. It's going to scan the planet. It's going to find another drop pod location for us. Found it. Thrusters are low and we just look at our map. It's over here. If we fly now, it's going to take 38 minutes. So what I do is I go up into space. Wait for it to lag like that. Aim towards the spot. Turn on my turbo charge. It's going to zip me over to it a lot faster than the 38 minutes. It was real time 38 minutes to do it the other way. So have lots of launch fuel. Um, you're going to be uh, taking off and landing quite a bit when you do these. Um, So we're going to land. Go through this process again. We have carbon nanotubes. We have the sodium nitrate. And we have the antimatter housing. And we'll just, for free, just add it right there. Uh, you're probably saying, hey, Aaron, where do you find the sodium nitrate? So when you hit C to scan, you're going to find these orange spots, which is sodium. And then what you can do is take the sodium, which is right here. Say I'm running low. So what I'm going to do is put down a refiner. Give it some carbon or condensed carbon. We're going to add our sodium. I'm going to hit C to cut it in half, and that's going to make more sodium nitrate. So again, free resource. You just got to go do this process to find it, convert it, and there you go. And again, this is very, very early game, so we don't have a lot of the extra two and three slot refiners that would help us really maximize this whole process with additional component of oxygen. But that's fine. We're, we're, we're in the struggle for now. Not worried about it. Uh, I saw this and whilst I'm here, we're going to go get another salvage data since we used three. Oh, we're going to learn a word. We're going to hopefully get some cool out of here. I don't need goop anymore because we got um, curious mold balls. Learn a word. I can get some dihydrogen. Cool. Okay, so that's how you... Oh, I, I got to go do this. I have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw it in the distance and when you find stuff like this you're just like okay just just go do it just take a minute this giant crater uh oh my gosh so there's so much stuff going on this is like a double spawn all right let's back up just a smidge kill all these for some oxygen
and then we've got two columns of cart carbon condensed carbon crystals one word two words <laughs> three words give me the words and another salvage data and some dihydrogen crystal where am i dihydrogen crystals there's another word over there. I think I can get that condensed carbon from here. And that one clear over there. This is a little fun little spot. What is this? Salt deposit. I don't really need salt. All right. See how easy it is to just get sidetracked. And look at this. There's another one right here. Okay, so we'll get the technology module. You'll see these from time to time too. Subtraining organic structures. You just mine it. And you're going to get this little guy. Gooey matter. You E-process the protein and got some goop. Ugh. Let's destroy that. Ah, so easy to get. Just, I just got to do it. It's right here. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, next thing. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to look for a crashed site. This is a, a planetary chart for emergency cartography data. The chances of finding a crashed site just out and about are really low. This will help us with that process. So I'm going to hit E to plot a route. And you can do this in your ship. I tend to like to do it in my ship a little better because it doesn't go through this little mini thing okay we kind of crapped out we found an abandoned building but we're gonna go to it anyway and when you find these little spots in the ground that kind of look come on can we just kind of look weird this is this is um just silicone silicate powder you can just mine this if you want to you're going to get far more than you would normally. Um, silicate powder is used for some things. It's not super critical. It's just dirt, like special dirt. But you will need to make glass at some point, and glass can be done with silicate powder in a refiner. So it's not a it's not bad idea to get some silicate powder while you can. You don't need a ton ton, but it does help to have some. Okay, let's go check this out. So we got an abandoned building, which is not what we wanted, but that's okay. We'll go check it out. See what we can get. Oh, it's just right here. <laughs> All right. We'll see what it is. <clears throat> so spooky. Now, there's a couple of things we can do here, and we'll show you afterwards. Let's just go through this. Check for whip tail things, which I don't see any. Let's grab all the supplies. It's just all the extra things that we can use to load up. Research, that's going to increase your standing with the whatever system you're in. So that for this, it's Gek. Yeah. And we can restore our shields for fun. Health for fun. I think that's it. Here's what we're here for. Let's go talk to this deserted terminal. And I'm just going to destroy this stuff because I don't need the goop. Um, okay. Eclipses, crimson orbs. Something, something was no longer certain. Perhaps the fungal deposits from the last world I visited are still clogging my... Exosuit vents affecting my cognition. Let's just analyze the log. Discover something coded deep inside the travelers left behind to aid me on my own journey. So we're going to get some nanites. That's fine. I'll take it. Um, okay, so another thing you can do if you want 
I tend to get up here on something. So these right here, these purple things are eggs. And once you hatch them, see what's happened? <laughs> they want to hurt you. I'm not ready to die. So what I do is just zap a few of them, reach down, collect, and just go pick them up. Oh, did he already take them? Stickers. But they're, they're, they 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 want to hurt you. And uh, you can take these eggs, these whispering eggs, and sell them off. It's just like extra cash. It's just a hassle. Let's save it. And we can take off. So we got some whispering eggs. Larval core. Quarter mil. Ain't bad for four. Just another way to earn a little bit of extra cash. Okay. Um, we did another coordinates thing. Didn't we? I don't think we did. Let's go into our inventory. Oops. Yeah, we got three left. Let's plot another route. Let's go find one. Here's what you want to see. A crashed freighter. It's not what I wanted to see. But. Let's go. You know, and along the way, you can you can land here if you want. Get some more salvage data. Here's a drop pod. Just happens to be right here. <laughs> I don't know if we've already been to it or not, but let's check it out. Oh, uh, we haven't been here yet, so let's let's get it. Okay. Yeah. Get some of that. Get this save. We got some floating fingers. This is gonna get you glowing minerals. Um, glowing minerals, there's two purposes for this. Uh, I don't know if there's any recipes that need it. There might be a quest later on down the road to get you glowing minerals. Uh, you can just go ahead and open it and it'll get you some rare alloys. Um, the other reason to have glowing crystals is some of the guilds, um, will take it as a donation. But it, it's not, it's not important to have them. I saw you there, dihydrogen spike. Cool. Got a free suit. It's just by, you know, we can go as slow. See what's going on in the ground below us. Look at this. Just out of the corner of my eye. We're going to land. Because there's three knowledge stones right in a row. I think the other one's up here. Bingo. Because, like I said, you can just spend a lot of time. Oh, we're at a launch thruster fuel. Let's go ahead and add that. <clears throat> I try not to let it get below um, 50% so that I can summon it. Okay, so I'm landing here because I just found a sunken ruin. And this is sidetrack number 5 billion whatever. So these are pretty cool. Uh, we're going to do some digging. Normally these have a Gravitino ball. I will grab that last because I just don't feel like dealing with the fuzz right now. What we're going to do is some mining. We've got a large artifact crate below. We've got another grav ball below. We've got an artifact fragment. 
So there's lots of places to dig. And I'm just marking the spots here. There's a spot. Oops. There's a spot there. And I tend to use the big sphere. Because what you want to do is you want to dig down, open these up, and you're going to get a key. Where are other ones go? Here's one. And here's where the keys go in the large artifact crate. I need an ancient key. I need three keys in total. So we'll just use one now. Get out of here. Maybe. And we got to find some more. So let's dig down here. There's another key. There should be at least one more here. Okay, they're over here. There's another one. I'm going to go up and over to get this one. Because it said there was another one, right? Lies. Oh, it's an ancient artifact. I don't think it's going to let me because of where it is in the in the verse universe. Uh, where was our main hole? It's over here. I think I got the other two keys. Cool. So we unlock it and we get a rare item. Crumpled papers. Now. This is all free, right? We just dug all this stuff up. So when we take a look at this rare item, it's worth 1.5 million. You just go sell it. That's all you got to do. Oops, wrong thing. Let's kill that. Let's kill that. I just don't need him. So that's cool. Just, just some free stuff. And I noticed this giant building over here. Let's get in our ship. And again, I'm just I'm just out and about on this planet. This planet is just crazy cool. Let's go fly over here to this little city. And you'll run across these from time to time. Not every planet has them, I don't think. I'm gonna look for these rings to turn green so I can land. And it's like a space station, it's just planet side. And so we can come in here, we can talk to some more people that have landed. What do we got here? A class C explorer. We can talk to this person. Let's trade with them. What do you got? I'll take the tritium. That's all you got. It's all that he has that I want right now. Cool. We can talk to them. We can come in here. And we can talk to some people. What do you got, man? Tech merchant? Okay. Let's check out your blueprints. See, here's the blueprints that we can we can buy now with our nanites. I don't really need that. Let's check out your components. What you selling? Uh, we could buy antimatter housings if we want to, instead of making them. Hermetic seals. Nav data, we can grab two more for a little bit. I think that's all I want from you, sir. Um, there's these here, artifact exchange vault. I don't know what these are exactly. Seek artifacts of cultural or biological interest. Um, we can 
submit a new artifact to the vault in exchange for an archival artifact or equivalent greater rarity. So I don't have any of these things. It's fine. We can come over here to the uh, information repository. We can print a chart for 15 nanites. Okay. Printing complete. We got an artifact chart. Oh, okay. So we now we can go find the artifact, bring it here, and get money. We have a trade center if we need to buy some supplies like ferrite dust. If we need some other things, we'll buy that copper. Notice you could buy metal plating. Like I said before, you're going to use so much metal plating. Uh, you, you could buy all 71 of these and you they will get used. That is not a waste of money. Look at that. Got more launch fuel because there he is. Let's donate three more salvaged. Now I'm an apprentice. Now I can get a suspicious package from this person. Let's go see what's in there. Can hold 50 of them. So we had E to open it and we got a hypnotic eye that is worth 57,000. So we turn right back around, sell. We can sell our larval core for a quarter mil. We can sell our hypnotic eye for 58,000. We can sell our crumpled papers for 1.5 million. Uh, let's go into our ship. We can sell our pearls that we found in a cave for 63,000. We can sell these fireberries. I don't really want them. Cool. We just made a ton of cash. We're at 4.7 mil. I can talk to these guys. Learn some words. I mean, we're here. It doesn't take very long. I just click through. It doesn't matter what they say. Mystery symbol. Like I said, I just hit one on the keyboard. Now, there is this whole other thing. Turn my, there's this whole other thing. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Um, it's doing something. Grabbing hard drives or something. Chunking them up. I don't know what this planetary archive. <clears throat> See, and here's where knowing more words of the species is helpful because I have no idea what's going on here. Archive is intended only for its own species. Ancient audio equipment drone in a low frequency, seemingly expecting a voice command. Friendship. Granted. All right, let's decrypt the archive. I can hear a Gek voice. Seek no profit. They offer. Oh, the Viking High Council man. No friends, no allies, no contribution. They claim to be a people of honor. They claim to be good and just. But behold, the war factories. Behold, the battle enzyme. The flesh circuits. The sources of all courage and strength. Behold, the harvested organs and heretics of the weak. Viking are hypocrites. They're liars. They refuse to accept the Gek have changed. They threaten us, yes, or yet they do not attack. There are more than a hundred such entries in the archive, a parade of atrocities, more evidence of supposed Viking depravity and geek or geek superiority. Uh, I don't know what that did. Let's, ah, while we're here, Let's do this. Let's put down a save beacon. And let's look at our artifact chart. See what it does. 
So we get this free, right? Ancient ruin site detected. So it's going to tell us where to go for the ancient ruin site. Let's go there. It's 20 minutes away. Oh, let's do our thing while we're... Oh, that's our crashed freighter. I really don't care about this. Let's just land here anyway. Sorry, that was kind of a mess. <clears throat> I mean, we can come in here and do our stuff. Fecium is poop. We'll get into that later. Ooh, got to salvage data. Guess I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm over here. Just get rid of all this stuff for now. We can get Fecium later. Ooh. Salvaged frigate module. Noise. And then here, I think. No, it's just on the surface. Get rid of it all. Now there's salvage data. Okay. Glad we stopped. Now, we'll glitch in the system there. I don't want to do the other things. Not right now. There we go. We got to go up. We, we still got to go to that grave. We'll end on the grave. We'll go do this. Hopefully in, in a quick hurry here. Check this out. This is probably going to be just like we did to find our crumpled papers. We'll probably have to dig around, find the keys. Oh, we'll find the keys. Yep. I always park kind of like on the outskirts because I'm going to have to dig around. I don't want to fight my ship for these kinds of things. Okay. Oh, I forgot to grab the grab uh, gravitino ball. Destination reach. So we hit F to scan below us. We're just gonna dig in. Okay, there's the main one. We don't have any keys yet. There's one over here. There's one of them. almost always one underneath here and I need one more let's go over here oops oh <laughs> this is gonna dig up all of this where can we go well, where is it that's the thing You're hearing a, a grav ball, gravitino ball. Are you serious again? Oops. What's there? Okay, I think that's three. And then where was the main one? It was over here. Yeah. Key, key, key. We're going to get the thing. Epic sheet music one. Okay. Now I know for a fact we're going to need these grav balls, gravitino balls. I call them grav balls because it's just you can hear them. We're going to need two of these eventually. So I'm going to grab this one. But now I'm detected, right? Here comes the cops. They're going to look for me and be like, hey, what, what are you doing? I'm going to grab this one. 
since we get a two chasing us. Grab this other key just for funsies. One thing you can do is to escape the cops is just run away. <laughs> so you can just dig a hole. They still looking for me. There they go. Now they're searching. As long as you hide from them or outrun them, they'll go away. Uh, but we're going to need at least two grab balls at some point. So while I'm here and they're here detected. Oh, yeah. Try me now. Three, two, one. Boink. Then go away. And then you can. Then you can escape. So we got our thing. We got an extra key. Just for fun. Oh. And they're still being out and about. Traveled. Oh, I really wish I could get rid of those. Okay, so we got these. Let's go turn these in. Now, this is why I dropped that save point. Because we should be able to find it to go turn this in now. If we look for the star, there it is. There's our save beacon. So we'll go up and line it up. Get some more tritium. But that's a good way to have, say, you want to have at least one on you or be, have the ability to make one just in case you need them for emergencies like this. I mean, this wasn't a true emergency, but if I didn't have this place saved, there's no way I would have been able to find it again because it doesn't show up on any maps. Right? So you want to be able to have this a way to save your location uh, and those save beacons help. So we'll land. Let's go turn this in real quick. Now you can see in the lower right, I've got a red shield. It looks like a shield, but it's my backpack. That's indicating that my backpack is full. Uh, I cannot have anything else in my backpack. So while we're here, oh, I don't want to sell the grab balls. Let's turn this in. Artifact exchange vault. See if we have something that we can turn in. What? You son of a gun. It's all right. I mean, I'm still going to sell it. <laughs> I'm still getting rid of it because it's 120,000. That's fine. I want to save this salvaged frigate module. And let's just sell the key. It's just taking up space. We'll find more. I'm going to keep those Gravitino balls. Okay. So uh, while we're here, let's see if we can put this in our starship. In the starship. Definitely in the starship. Starship. Few things. We're already, almost already full again. We're getting to a point where we're going to need a ton of these salvage datas. But not just yet. Okay, let's go pick up. Our thing. Stomp. Kill. Get some of that. Get some more of this dihydrogen. I'm going to save it. Click to pick it up. And then destroy it again to save space. We'll take the stairs. Why not? Look at that. Look at this big old hauler ship. Okay. What you got for me, dude? Make an offer. Make the tritium. I will need these later. But I don't need them right now. You can also buy these gex. The relics. Let's just buy them. 
What you do with that is you go and talk to people, uh, Gex out and about. So it'd be these people down here. And you talk to them. And instead of requesting dialogue help, you offer them a gift. He accepts it. And now our standing with the Gek has increased. You want to do this until you're maxed out. And they'll take multiples. So you can just pick one person and just keep doing it. That was three. Now if I do it again, should not be able to because I'm out. That helps you increase your standing with the various races um, so that you can get better rewards, do better missions, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, let's call that an episode. Oh, we got to go to the grave. Let's go to the grave uh, of the unknown grave. <clears throat> and then we'll call this an episode. You definitely want every time you can find an unknown grave, you need to get them. I would put this high priority if you come across them. Um, and we'll mostly through, you, they can mostly be found through the shimmering travelers at space stations. So when you see those people, those travelers, talk to them, find their grave. Remember, you got to talk to them twice. The second time you offer them a hundred nanites to find their burial. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to come and land here. And we're going to go to their... Oh, that's cool. I like that thing. They can't feed it yet. <laughs> I'll take this too. So you come to their grave. This is the grave of Neil or Nile. <laughs> and you talk to it. He comes up. And it doesn't matter what they say. This has nothing to do with the story. You can you can look at this stuff on your own. It's fine. You want to extract the glyph. That's the only reason we're here is to extract these glyphs. We have one out of 16 glyphs, and you can track that by going to your catalog guide, collected knowledge, uh, and there should be the Atlas, Atlas portal glyphs. There are 16 in total. Gee, where have we heard the number 16 before? There's 16 in total. And you want to collect them all, not as fast as you can, but again, you want to get them all because these, uh, were, when we go through the main story, we're going to unlock portals and these glyphs will act like a stargate where you have to add, you, you enter these different glyphs in as an address to different places. Now we're here on this planet. And this planet has a specific address. So if somebody, if I want to share this with Tim or Brian or whoever else, I would give them the address for this and they could come right here. Now, I don't know how to find that yet. I don't know if we have to get a portal unlocked, but in the meantime, I'm collecting glyphs as far as I can see them, right? If I see a glyph or a traveler, I'm collecting it. Oh, I so bad want to grab one of these guys. Why can't I make food yet? A memory fragment. Prepackaged personal force field. Let's hit E to install. Oh. Eh. It's for your multi-tool, so when you hit... Now I've got a little energy shield to deflect incoming. It's fine. But I want to be able to make... Food pellets. Yes! It could take 60 carbon i don't know where i picked this up so we're gonna make a few of these and so the, what you do is you come up to them now you e to feed them and now we can adopt them as a companion 
we can scoop edible clusters we can ride if if the animal lets us ride it we can customize it if we can the animal lets us we're gonna scoop edible clusters and we're gonna adopt it as a companion <laughs> so now Gasua Gasina is our companion so what you do is you come back over to him you hit E and we can gently pat him we can we can give him more treats number five we can induce an egg so if I want another one of these and I want to mess with its genetics there's a whole process to do that let's pet it some more give it some more treats it's so cute but it's gonna follow me so if I come over here here it comes oh currently scouting ahead um, but now you'll see down here in our menu, we have a pet menu and we can summon this pet anytime we want. If we look at our companion registry, we can by default hold two and with nanites, we can expand this to a lot. Six times three is a lot. That must be new because I didn't, I thought you could only have six. So if I want to, I can unlock a more now the more you do it the more it's going to cost so now i can hold three pets and summon them out anytime i want that's so cool <laughs> that's so cool and there there might be good reasons as to why you want to do that so when we scooped this we got row and it's going to restore two percent of our health um other animals will give other resources get milk you can get uh nanites chewy wires all, all kinds of stuff here he comes <laughs> tracking a life form so we got a little one we could have got a big one too so in order to get a big one just feed him we're gonna adopt that one as a companion And now if I want to, I can go back into my registry at this, we're going to abandon the younger one. It'll be fine. So now we got a big one. So now we got to feed him. Let's gently pat him. Let's give him some treats. Gently pat him again. See now he's induced. He's gestating an egg or she is gestating an egg. So in 24 hours, we can get an egg out of this thing. nice anyway so that's the episode that's how you find glyphs you go talk to the shimmering travelers in space stations come to their grave after you give them 100 nanites talk to them twice give them 100 nanites find out their grave collect all the glyphs we're going to get to the glyph portal here through the main storyline and also this is how you capture animals any any creature pretty much um, will be able to be a companion that you can have follow you. I, I, we're going to, we're going to learn more about that as we go along. Cause I haven't really used them a whole lot other than that one's cool. I like that. Let's collect it. <laughs> All right. Next episode, uh, we're going to continue the main story.